Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Notes of Hemlock Challenge. And in this video, we're going to use the standard equipment that I've been using for the past few videos now. The coin, lockpick, pistol, start the parking lot, and I'm going to use our suit. And um, before we get into the video, I want to say thank you to Square Enix and IO Interactive for giving me free early access to the game. I really do appreciate it. And if you've missed any videos that I've covered on Mendoza so far, there's a link in the description of all the challenges covered in the full playlist also there's a son assassin suit only playlist as well if you want to go check that out but for this video like i said we're going to use the, the standard pistol coin lock pick starting the parking lot which is locked at mastery level two and i'm going to use our smart casual suit like i'm usually going to do from now on so to get into the mansion area because that's where we need to go to get some poison uh we're going to use this this lawyer's disguise because it's an easy fast way of getting into the the mansion without any problems so you may as well take it. So basically a free disguise. We're going to actually hide the pistol in this uh, this bin. We don't really need it. Should have said not to bring it in one really. But it doesn't really matter. There's a bin right there. And I'm guessing that's probably what it was for. I really wish you could conceal stuff in the briefcase. And get through frisk zones. Uh, but unfortunately you can't. But we're just going to wait for this lawyer to actually lean on this, um, this side here. And then once he does that. That's when we're going to subdue him. If you do it any earlier. You can get spotted. So just watch out for that. So go ahead and take his disguise. And we can now leave. Don't worry about the briefcase. We don't need it. We just need to get through this fresh zone and get into the building itself. We are going to be swapping disguises a little bit later on. Because that's what the challenge requires. But uh, yeah, first of all, we just need to get into this mansion area. So once you pass that fresh zone, just approach the gate and then talk to the guard on the left. He will lead you into the mansion area. Just don't skip ahead of this conversation because it will be a hostile area until you have engaged this conversation. So once he's finished his words, uh, finished his line of words, uh, that's when you can go in. There we go. Once we're in now, we're now no longer in a trespassing area. You're free to roam. So what we're actually going to do is take advantage of this freedom and head to Don Yates's room. He's going to be currently upstairs right now. So we can get past these guards. It's not a trespassing area. And in the bathroom, there's going to be a, a bottle of lethal poison pills in the pill jar. So once we've got that, we're going to use that for the poison a little bit later on. Now we just need to leave the mansion area and head on to our next objective, which would be require ourselves getting a waiter's disguise. So if you take one of these staircases on the left or the right, it will lead you down to the perfect area where we can get our, ourselves a disguise and acquire ourselves the wine bottle that is needed. You can take out that waiter there if you want to, or you can go into this area where I'm about to go. Close the door behind you. Grab the bottle there. That's what we're going to use. And we're going to smack him over the head with it. Boom. And we're going to drag his body all the way to the other side of the room into the crate or the locker, whatever it is. And then once we've done that, we can grab his disguise. So we'll have our nice easy disguise to get to the waiter there's rat poison there if you want to use rat poison if you don't want to use the lethal one but why wouldn't you use the lethal one now once we've got this disguise now we can head down to the tasting bar or the tasting room I should say because we have the perfect bottle of wine we have the, the outfit we have the poison everything is set up we just need to do this final step We have approach this waiter, place the bottle of wine on the bar, and serve the wine. When you get the opportunity to, go ahead and poison it with a lethal poison. You'll know you've done it correctly when you see the, the red mist coming out from the glass now. The NPCs can't see that red mist, it's purely for your, like, uh, you know, just to make sure that you know that you've poisoned the wine. All we've got to do now at this point is uh, just pretty much wait for Diana and Videl to actually come down. Because we are standing in this position, she will calm down momentarily. She'll come down a little, a little bit faster than she usually would. Otherwise, you'd have to wait here for a good 10 minutes or so. So, it's good that it interrupts her uh, script to come down and taste this wine. Because, you know, it's all about respecting the player's time at the end of the day. Because there's a lot of waiting around when it comes to some of these challenges. So, uh, yeah. So, after another about a minute and a half, she will eventually come down. And when you have the earliest opportunity to, just go ahead and serve it. Pour a nice bottle of wine. 
I managed to find a bottle. I like how he pours out white wine out of the bottle, which is what it looks like. Like looks, that's what it appears to be anyway. And then uh, it turns out to be red in the glass. It's to die for. Vino, you say? Maybe just one glass. I like how in Hitman 3 the poison works immediately now. There's no like delayed reaction. I don't know. Some people can, can like that. Some people can't. But I, I quite like it. But there's absolutely nothing suspicious about you walking away. Uh, in, re in reality there would be. But in the game obviously there's nothing suspicious about it. And that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. Also in the description there's going to be a full playlist of the Mendoza challenges. So you can check that out if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.